What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Cars in the garage. You guys saw the roll cage. Now it is time to paint the roll cage. I'm dreading this part, but this is probably going to make or break the car. And so we're going to go ahead and sand it down. Um, and then, so we're going to sand it down, mask everything after we sand it, primer and paint. And so I'll show you the color once we get to the color part, but let's go ahead and take everything out we don't need and start painting or start, yeah, start sanding first. All right, so everything is out. I gotta start sanding and then I'll start um, prepping because when I sand it, I wanna vacuum everything and then cover it so I don't get sand or dust all over like the plastic bags and get on the paint. So start sanding. Uh, my prep work isn't gonna be the greatest because I'm only gonna cover the important stuff like the dash, center console, trim here liner but everything else is gonna be covered and it doesn't look good anyways and so if I were to gut the car I would paint it anyway so let's focus on the important parts all right and so the goal with sanding is to get it shiny I don't know if you can tell difference so that's pretty shiny and you can see where I stopped so to get all that little rust off see how brown it is there some spots I just can't get because it's too high up there but I'm gonna try my best and sand it all down, get it all covered. Ah, this is a tedious part. I hate doing it, but it's gonna be worth it at the end. All right, I'm in the process of masking everything. This is a pain in the ass because I was trying to put plastic and pull it through the other side, but it doesn't work because it, it droops so low, it covers part of the bar. So I had to just use tape. Um, I'm going to get plastic and cover the rest of the headliner, but um, I had to use tape in these areas because if I didn't, it would droop over right here and I couldn't get it like tight enough that I probably won't be able to get good coverage. And so just using a lot of uh, masking tape and doing the best I can, I'm um, going to keep these uncovered because, you know, there's metal exposed there. So I mean, I have to paint it anyways, so I can't really mask it that well, but yeah, I'm going to um, keep going keep masking maybe I'll paint today maybe I'll paint tomorrow but once I get the masking done then the painting can begin because this sucks all right so the car is pretty much masked up I'm gonna cover the center console but like this area I'm not gonna cover because I can't really cover too much here he's setting it down so I have to cover it before it rusts and the paint here is already messed up and so I don't think I'm gonna get too much on here if anything um, it's, it's not gonna show so this is good enough for now. I got all the important parts, the pillars, the headliner, uh, most of the rear window. Um, I don't think it's gonna get that far. If anything, I'll wipe it down with some acetone. But yeah, got the door sill, especially the dash. So we're ready to roll. So um, I'm gonna sand down a little bit more. If you want it shiny like that, I missed some spots you can see, but keep going. And then we'll start painting. Start with the primer. All right, it's time to paint. So let's go ahead and uh, start spraying the primer. Um, there's no easy way to doing this. This is definitely not going to be perfect. Areas like that, especially the headliner on the top of the roll bar, you might not even get. But we're going to do our best and make sure it looks decent. And that's the theme of this car, decent. Oh, this is some hard work here, guys. This is not easy but um i went ahead and sanded it down a little uh sanding make sure it's smooth i shouldn't be touching it honestly but i don't care but make sure there's no dust on it after you sand it so sanded it down wiped it all down with some wax and grease remover and this thing is ready to be painted white can't wait to paint it white because honestly this is what's gonna make or break my car so Let's get into it because I'm tired of this shit. Don't ever ask me to paint shit. Don't ever ask me to do shit again. So let's go. All right, so when you're balling on a budget, Rust-Oleum Gloss White. Keep it simple. Keep it simple. Keep it classy. White and some gloss. I got some premium clear finish gloss enamel. And then just some basic white. I think two cans be enough. If it's not enough, I'm gonna hate myself because I don't want to redo it. So hopefully this is enough. I'll be conservative with my paint and just get what I need, layer it on and then throw the clear on. I know I'm not going to get everything I wanted because 
Look at my hair. All right, let's get painting. All right, everything is finally painted. This is the most pain in the ass thing I ever done. Um, I tried to cover the floors, but the plastic kept moving. It was super windy today and I couldn't keep the door open to get some airflow going in. So, I mean, it's dusty, but it's gonna be covered anyway. So I, I got the most important stuff covered, but the white looks pretty good. I got a couple runs, um, maybe a couple missed spots, but um, this is probably the best that I'm going to get. All right, here's a better view of the cage. I still got tape on it because I still got to work on the back, but I'm gonna let it sit in the sun, let it dry up. And the white just really pops in the sun, which is what I really wanted. What happened here? Huh. Well, oh, it's touching right here. Oh well, I mean, can't really do anything about that. This should look so good. Well, I hope you guys liked this video. This video was mostly me painting and trying to get this thing ready to just, I wanted to look good. I was impatient and it was a pain in the ass. I would never paint a roll cage again. Don't ask me, um, but I got it done. And now I'm ready to just drive it around and cruise and drift again. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next one.